Well, I remember I was involved in the first festival. I remember Stuart Parker asked me to give a lecture on Daniel Corkery. I was involved in presenting people. I mean, I do remember early on uh, J.P. Dunleavy coming to the Students' Union. One of the most uh, memorable years, I think, was about 68 for me, 1968 or so. Uh, the composer Sean O'Reilly was a musician of the year. And at that stage, Tyrone Guthrie was Chancellor of the University. And there was a, a symposium on arts in society. Guthrie chaired it, and the poets Thomas Kinsella and John Montague were there. In the meantime, of course, I ended up reading at it at different times in the Whitlaw Hall. And I think that was when the term Heaney Bopper was invented, when, <laughs> when the sixth formers were coming in by the busload. Another thing worth mentioning, definitely, about the festival was that it sponsored the publication, or the first publications, by the poets Michael Longley, Derek Mahon, and myself. That was the beginning of a pamphlet series of poets published by, by the festival. And it very much made its mark. I have had experiences with poets that I knew and admired, where the reading was uh, an event in my life, a memory. That happened with Ted Hughes very much. And I, I invited him to Belfast. Robert Lowell, American poet, uh, Elizabeth Bishop, Sylvia Plath, who raised the hairs on the back of her neck to hear her read. So uh, I, I do believe in it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a theatrical experience. I think it's central to a certain part of Queen's mission, really, to, to be a, a kind of centre that transmits values that are part of the civilised life. And uh, the festival has got music, it's got uh, literature, it's got all kinds of comedy. It seems on, on the one hand to celebrate what is there on the spot. There are people from uh, Northern Ireland involved but also it reaches out and brings in. And it's actually a ritual that says we value this kind of thing. So that's important.